Hello everyone, if you ever wondered why did I stop playing Viper, Killjoy, Cypher and Ranked, this is why. And you might wonder, what the hell, is he on drugs or something? No, I'm talking here about pressure. I applied pressure on this Play-Doh and it changed its shape, right? And this is what pressure does, it funnels the direction of movement. And this is important to understand because it applies to Valorant, Ranked and Pro Play as well. I want to now explain to you how does this theory apply in the game. Let's say I'm playing in hookah with a judge as a brimstone, right? And now I want to funnel people into me. So I want to apply pressure from different angles that will be pushing out people towards me. How do I do that? How do I, how do, I do this? That I apply pressure and I make people go in this direction and in this direction. How do I do this? I smoke, not like this, because if I smoke hookah, right? If I smoke hookah, like this, what most people will do, this will apply pressure and the players will go out of hookah and will never push into it because they will be afraid. I want to apply pressure that will push people into me. So if I'm standing in a hookah right now, at the beginning of the round, I'm gonna smoke aggressive short, like this, for example. So the players on short will be afraid of even taking any space. This will create pressure towards market and towards showers and will funnel people towards my judge. And I want them to come into hookah so I can get easy kills with the judge, right? And that's how pressure being put from the other side of the map, funnels the people. Imagine just that the smokes that I'm putting are like finger presses. I'm pressing a finger on short, right? I'm pressing my finger on, on short and like here, whatever. And those two points making pressure and I'm, and I'm like putting away or pulling away the players from that point, right? And this is very important to understand because in many games in ranked, I literally see the opposite being done. And it's very important to understand it when we're going to play Viper as well. This is one of those, um, I'm going to show you one of my earliest setups in the, in the game, like ever, that I did. I'm playing on A side. I have my ult ready. And I'm going to set up an entire map. I'm going to do a one way in showers. I'm going to do a ult on short. And I'm going to do a wall on B. Now... How does apply pressure to my uh, opponents? When I do a setup like this, right? I'm making sure I'm controlling short. And the players from short are afraid of pushing in. That means that I'm applying pressure, I'm pressing the, the finger on short, and I pull away players from my position. That means I'm funneling them towards a different location. And if I do this on short, and they want to pressure also on showers, then I'm also pressing the, the finger on showers by doing a massive one-way. If I do this on showers and on short, that means that the pressure points will most likely work and the players will rotate towards B. So imagine that the A setup is my hand and the opponents are now being pressed by the one-way, right? And the ult and they are being pushed towards the other side. That is... That's how will pressure work just by using my utility. And when that utility will work, that means that other players will go towards B side into hookah and garden. When I can help my teammates with the wall when they're gonna pressure this side. So when the players that are gonna be stacking B side are gonna tell me they're going on to side, that's when I will wall up to separate the players going in already on site and try and the players going in behind them. So I separate them when they go on to site, right? And my teammates that are on B side right now will have easy kills. The problem is when people don't understand the pressure that a player creates. And that is very easily, like, um, very easily intable, right? When you have a setup like that. Let's make it on Valoplant holding short, doing the one way, and we have the wall. And when I apply this pressure, if my teammates have zero understanding of this theory, they might actually push out out of long, they might push out out of hookah, and just literally die. 
because the teammates of my opponent, sorry, the opponents will not go towards me. They will go towards the other, t other side of the map. That means that my teammates are pushing into the crosshairs of my opponents and they will expect it. So the only way of properly playing this, like in ranked, is just by not peeking and playing crossfires on site. Because then the players cannot go A, because there are two players just play playing defense on it. One guy who looks sh uh, watches shower, the Viper has short, and there are three players stacking on B side. And when the opponents are just going through hookah and long, that's where they go into a trap. So my pressure that I created on A side creates a trap for the players on B side. And that essentially makes it possible for me to have an easier round, but it can be ruined if my teammates don't understand how the pressure works. And unfortunately, I stopped playing Viper, stopped playing Killjoy, stopped playing Cypher, because all of the setups that you're trying to do to achieve that pressure effect is not being under like understood by teammates who are like just ending, just playing team deathmatch. It doesn't matter which rank is it. It might be Radiant, might be Immortal 3. Like, that's, that's my experience on those ranks. And that's why I don't want to play any more of those characters, because you cannot play the proper setups that you can also see on the pro level. Which is very unfortunate, and hopefully you guys will learn this from this video and apply this, apply this knowledge to your ranked games so you will get a better experience yourself.